Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go any further, let us clap for us now. Clap, 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 clap. You are not clapping now. Clap for us now. Ah! It was so bad yesterday. Like, Arsenal played so bad, so poor, so horribly. To the extent that Arsenal could not record a single shot on target against FC Porto. It was so bad. It was so disappointing. And yesterday, Arsenal were the clear favorite based on journalists, bookmakers, and the rest of them, analysts, and the rest of the people that were predicting Arsenal yesterday. Arsenal were the clear favorite because the odds were there. FC Porto to win was around 6 odds. Arsenal to win was around 1.6, 1.7 odds. And look at how it ended yesterday. Porto 1, Arsenal 0. To be honest, the Premier League is totally different from the Champions League. That is what Arsenal needs to understand. The Premier League and the Champions League is two different tournaments. You understand? Look at the Premier League performance, scoring 5, 6, 5 goals. They are not playing Crystal Palace or Burnley. This is FC Porto, a team that is familiar with the Champions League for past years now. They are always active in terms of Champions League compared to Arsenal. So if Arsenal wants to go to the next round, they need to be serious in the second leg because you know FC Porto, how defensive they can be in terms of protecting that 1-0. FC Porto can do that 1-0 stuff till the game ends. So if Arsenal wants to um, go to the next round, the second leg, Arsenal needs to put up a Man City performance. That is just the truth. Arsenal needs to be serious because if they played like this or if they played the way they play in the first leg, they play it in the second leg. To be honest, Arsenal will be out. You understand? So, yes, the Arsenal were bad. They were really, really bad. They messed up a lot yesterday. They really messed up a lot. So, we hope that they, they play better in the next leg. If not, they will still come out from this Champions League. And it will be very disappointing coming out from the round of 16 with the form Arsenal is in now. So that was what happened yesterday. Arsenal blew us away, not even recording a single goal. I'm not talking about goal. A single shot on target against a 40 years old man. Pepe. Pepe, 40 years old man. Arsenal could not pass that guy to score a single goal. So that is football for us. So let's dive into today's business. If you are new to the channel, I always advise you to go for the goals market. Rather than going for straight winnings or any other uh, option, the goals market is the best. And there's one particular comment I've been seeing. It's not as if um, I've not seen the comment or I've not noticed you. Um, you were always talking about why am I not going for the under market. There's one thing I want you to know. I would rather go for the over market 100 times than going for the under market. And I would rather go with straight winnings than going with the under market. Under market is very dangerous. I don't know if anybody have noticed that once you select under 3.5, because that's one of the safest under you can go with, once you select under 3.5, you see the teams becoming Bayern Munich and Man City. You just select this particular team under 3.5 goals. After you've done your research and analysis, you find out that these two teams don't know how to score. But the moment you select them under 3.5 goals, they become Bayern and Man City playing against themselves. First half, you see 2-1. I don't know if you've noticed that. But it happens frequently. Then full time, they will play 2-2. They will make sure they cut or they will spoil the game. Or they will make sure they stop at that four goals that you don't want to happen. Once they score the 2-2 or 3-1, they stop scoring. They will make sure they will damage your under 3.5 option. Then they will stop scoring. It's not that under market is bad. It's good. But to be honest, it's not safe. Rather than me going for under 3.5, I would rather go with straight winning because I know a straight winning can end in 4-3, 5-3, 6-1. You understand? So you can continue going with your under market. If it's favoring you, fine. But the best advice is under market is not safe. That is just it. I'm not being rude. I'm not being harsh. I'm just telling you the plain fact that the under market, it is not safe at all. Anybody that is telling you that under market is one of the best options, wrong best to go with over rather than going with under 
So let's dive into today's business. If you are new to the channel, do ensure you're hitting the subscribe button. And as you watch the video, ensure you're hitting the like button, please and please. I was not happy with the likes yesterday. We can do better than that today. Ensure as you watch the video, hit the like button. So we have the Europa League and the Europa Conference League games for today. We have eight matches. You know, the last time they played, they played very, very well. They did very, very well in terms of goal scoring. And I believe that the goals are going to come again today. Why? Because the first leg goals were very tight. You see some teams finishing 2-2, two, two, some 2-3. Two, understand? The only person that has um, a clear gap in this um, Europa League game or Conference League game is the game between um, Solvan Bastislava and Stormgrass. Even though Stormgrass won 4-1 in the first leg, they were the only team that did 4-1. The rest did 2-2, two, 2-3, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Even them Sporting, they do 3-1. So it's going to be very tight this second leg and i believe the goals should be available also so let's dive into it we have um a few conference league games but um the europa league games are more compared to the conference league games so let's dive into the games for today the first game is from the europa league we have quarabag versus braga Quarabag destroyed Braga in the first leg and to be honest, I'm expecting a good number of goals in this match today. That's just the pure fact. I'm expecting a good number of goals because Braga will be looking forward to bounce back in this particular game and Quarabag also be looking forward to extend their lead because I guess the first leg they played 4-2. Quarabag won 4-2. So Quarabag will be looking forward to extend their lead, their lead Sorry, while Braga will be looking forward to catch up with uh Quarabag. so my prediction for this game is a very good one it has value over 2.5 goals at 1.80 odd Quarabag versus braga over 2.5 goals at 1.80 odd we have sporting club de portugal versus young boys we also have sporting won young boys in the first leg 3-1 and sporting will be looking forward to maintain that lead and increase it in order for young boys not to catch up with them so my prediction here is Sporting to score over 1.5 goals at 1.40 odd. Sporting versus Young Boys, Sporting to score over 1.5 goals at 1.40 odd. We have Toulouse versus Benfica, another interesting game that ended 2-1 in the first leg. Benfica won 2-1 and I'm still expecting a good number of goals in this game due to the fact that 2-1 is not a very good scoreline for Benfica. They need to score more goals and Toulouse also will be looking forward to catch up with Benfica. So my prediction here is over 1.5 goals at 1.25 odd. Over 1.5 goals at 1.25 odd. We have um, AS Roma versus Fiernoid. I did not take Roma and Fiernoid in the first leg, but I'm taking them now because Roma is at home and they played 1-1 in the first leg. I'm expecting a similar scoreline or Roma even winning this game at the end of the day. So my prediction here is Roma to score over one goal at 1.40 odd. AS Roma versus Fiernoid. AS Roma to score over one goal at 1.40 odd. We have Sparta Prague versus Galatasaray. These two teams had a very interesting first leg. Galatasaray winning 3-2. So the gap is not that big for Sparta Prague to cover. And they believe they can be able to due to the fact that Sparta Prague are at home. Galatasaray also needs to score more in order to go to the next round. So my prediction here is both teams to score at full time at 1.60 odd. I'm expecting these two teams to score themselves like the way they did in the first leg because the gap between the first leg goals is not much. So both teams to score between Sparta Prague and Galatasaray, the odds is 1.60. We have um, another interesting game from the Conference League to be Ligia Warsaw versus Modi. This game also had a very good goal scoring uh, game. With Modi winning 3-2 in the first leg. So the gap also is really, really tight. And Ligia also, since they are at home, have the opportunity to at least close the gap. And Modi needs to extend their goal scoring. So my prediction here is both teams to score at 1.70 odd. Ligia also versus Modi, both teams to score at 1.70 odd. We have Entrack Frankfurt versus Royal Union St. Julius. This team also had a 2-2 two -two, uh, full time in the first leg. It's still open for the both of them and I believe the goal should be there again in this match. The both teams have a very good chance of scoring themselves again in this game and I'm expecting a good number of goals in this match also. So my prediction is over 2 goals. The total goes to be over 2 goals at 
5-0 odd. Entract Frankfurt versus Royal Union St. Julius. The total goes to be over two goals at 1.50 odd. So the last game on the list is Solvan Bastislava versus Stormgrass. The first leg ended 4-1. I'm still expecting a good number of goals. Why? Because the two teams are very good in goal scoring. And both teams to score has a very good chance of happening again in this match. So my prediction is over 1.5 goals at 1.23 odds. So Van Bastislava versus Stormgrass. Over 1.5 goals at 1.23 odds. So guys, these eight games sum total to be 17 odds. So the best advice I will give to you, pick at least three games from these matches and stick on it please and please don't combine all these games in a sleep for those combining all and coming to complain later listening to my instructions pick at least three games from this game you will get two odds if you're looking for two odds three odds just pick a good number of them three four games per sleep maximum you can pick two from the conference league two from the europa league and stick on it if you want to combine at least four or five you can still reduce the goals to the lowest level so guys, that is all the games for today and I wish us all the best and I wish you all success. Take what you can afford to lose. This is football and anything is bound to happen. And there's one thing you need to know, a lot of factors can affect the prediction. Put that at the back of your mind, especially when you're expecting goals. Players not being able to convert chances, poor performance and the rest of it. So guys, we pray for the best. If you want to join my Telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. I will see you tomorrow with more well-analyzed tips. Have a blessed day. Have a wonderful day. I'm thinking maybe I should do a long-running sleep for Friday to Sunday. So if I'm able to do it, fine. If I'm not, it's still fine. So I'll see you tomorrow. Take good care of yourself. If I'll do the long-running bed sleep, I'll let you know in the Telegram. So see you all tomorrow and bye for now.